Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCSA or Red Hat Certified System Administrator series. Today's video will be on the step Create and Edit Text Files. This will be part one, which is based on Nano. So Nano will come pre-installed um, and to literally start creating files let's just go somewhere, oh, somewhere sensible first let's go to documents we've got a few files there from before so let me just create a new file so we just do literally nano text editor command and the file name we want to create so let's just call nano file okay So that will literally open up as, a, as if it's a new file first. So we don't have to do anything to start typing. It's literally it's a, uh, it's, a it's a stateless editor, so we don't need to uh, put it to a particular state or anything like that. So we can just type away. So this is a test file, okay? And to save. It's all based on the control, so we've got at the very bottom there. You can see a lot of the commands there, and that little um, carrot symbol just means the command. So you can see there, you've got the command, and an X is exit. Command uh, an O is write out. So this is what we're going to do first. So we're going to do Control O, name to write. Just enter to accept it, or you can change it. That says wrote one line. Which look, looks good, and then Control X to exit. Excellent. So now if we just do a cat on that file. We have that line we've just added. Excellent. Okay, so we can just make some more changes again. So okay, so let's just do test file test. Okay, and if we want to exit again, we just Control X. Right, we can see it's now saying save modified so you can say yes or no to this um, we'll just say no and obviously our changes haven't been made excellent okay there's one thing say if you make that change um, you say yes oh, and you've actually got a, another option now to save the, the name so you can actually create your a new file with the with the contents of the previous file but with your additions or you can just literally press control C to cancel and that will get you cancelled out of that and you can just do control X and say no to get out there safely just in case you uh, accidentally prompt to get select the wrong option in the prompt. Let's do some cutting and pasting. So to cut us to cut a single line it's the control again and you can see there you've got the control K so it's control K so cut the line to paste it just move move your, move this line to wherever you want it to be put with the enter key or the up and down arrows and just do a control U which will uncut the text So if you want to do multiple lines uh, of copying, so we can just do a control K, control K, control K, control K, and then control U, control U, control U, so you can get multiple copies. So just keep doing the control K to cut the text, and then control U to uncut, which is essentially paste. So if you need a bit more fine gate control rather than uh, copy and pasting uh, single lines uh, or multiple lines as, as, as such you can um, use the marker within Nano to just copy uh, a particular part of text uh, sorry cut a particular part of text um, using this marker tool which is control 6 which sets the marker and then we literally just move our mouse uh, our, our cursor 
to it as far as we want to uh, cut then use the same control K to do the cut and then if we find a new line control U to paste it so you can do that it's quite nice um, searching for text is pretty easy as long as you think um, like if you think of search as in where is this rather than search for it will which is probably better way to put it so we can put if you do control W type your search string so if we just type in file it's going to come up a few times so search has found something so if you want so we found it once if we want to do this repeat that search just hit alt and w you should find all instances of that you can see okay so we'll just do a unique line maybe uh, uh, test one two three test three two one and test two one three Okay, so now we do another search. And we just do a test, uh, test one, perhaps. Press enter. You can see it's gone straight to that test line there. So if I just do that Alt W, this is the only occurrence. So it's pretty simple. So yeah, you've got that. Uh, got the obviously the quick help at the very bottom here um, so you've got all these the quick commands read file where is etc you can also do that com, uh, control G which is quite nice and you've got a, a very nice help which gives you all the commands exit for nano right to the point. you've got extra shortcuts as well like the F1 F2 keys, but most people end up using the controls because it's generally a bit quicker to then try and remember the the F keys for all of these. Um, but yeah, there's quite a lot of few, but this is just a quick summary of probably the most likely ones you're going to use. Um, just close that. So you've got the you've got the help file there, and also finally we've got. Got the man page, do man man nano. You've also got the man nano there as well. So you've got all the options. You've got extra CLI commands. You can then do uh, nano there. You've got sections. So introduction. You can go press enter and uh, backspace to go into the different sections. This is really quite good. And can have it's got quite a nice little document on all of it there. So there's man and, and info. Um, one thing I haven't mentioned is if you need to edit uh, config files, for example, um, it's very important to use the K uh, minus W switch. So we go back to the man nano minus W switch, what it does, I'll show you just here. Sorry, I've just got to scroll a little bit further down. Minus W, no wrap. So if you're editing something like a config file, you don't want the files, the, the lines to be wrapped. So uh, if you do have wrapping, it may say push the something to the next line. Uh, in, in, in case of uh, config files, and a new line could mean an, a new config, so it could certainly break the config files. So it's very important you don't have that set. So just get out of here. I'll just do an example. So one one very common example is the FS tab file, which will explain what that exactly that does in later videos. But just do nano minus w. May, may have noticed here that the red that is unwritable and the reason that is is because I'm just a standard user so we'll just 
we'll just try to add something to this. So we'll just try to add something to this line. So we'll just do a test. Say yes. Error item permission died, which is not surprising. It's because I'm not running as a root user. So if we do a sudo nano minus w fs tab, put the sudo password in, it's then writable. There's no error message at the bottom. Cool. Um, that concludes the video on Nano. Um, if there's any uh, additional bits you want me to cover with the Nano application, uh, please do comment below. Um, I'm, I'm more than happy to uh, try and cover it more, cover more ground with it. Um, I, I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching, and um, please like and subscribe. Um, that would be great. Yeah, thanks for watching again and uh, catch you in the next one. Thanks.